All right, well, part four here, first measure. I'm remembering to sit here in the middle. You see that little B5 there? You can kind of just make it out like that. And I will go back to putting my covers right at the end of this measure so I can start my gobs practice. So Goal-oriented backward step in practice. All right, let's do it. Here we go. So um, maybe just move it a little bit. I have to have my right hand in position for the chord coming up in the next measure. I have my left hand as I decided. Well, yeah, let's make sure just to strike the G with the accent and then bring it here. A little better. No, not together. Okay, I was okay. Once I have established I can definitely do that, now maybe even like this, I actually hold this chord. And then once I'm ready, I, I go on. So keeping now my position in the left hand such that the second finger is right above this G. So I practice, oh, wrong fingers in the right hand. So I'm making sure to do this leap. One more time. So that strike has to be very precise. Keep missing it, right? Keep missing it. So. Let's see. Yeah, it's better. Again, for practice purposes, I literally shifted my entire body over to the right a little bit, but in performance, I'll be sitting over here and then kind of, ah, you know, crooking my torso, spine a little bit. But, oops, so I've got this note down with finger one, yeah. Score down with a uh, fifth uh, right hand. There it is. All right. Then we keep going. Now I actually play this thing. And now I'm working on this papam. Not quite together on the chord. Let's be papam. All right. Let's say that's good enough ish. Stepping back, and now holding this chord, one, two, five, uh, second finger here, and let's just go for it. Nope, too, too fast, the rhythm was collapsing, so it says ta da. That was a little better, maybe a little slow, too slow. And not enough accent. Better, but maybe too much accent. Mm -mm. Better. All right. Now we actually play this chord. And I think I mentioned this last time. I'm going to keep the G note slightly pressed down with finger one, so when I strike it, it's kind of more like how it will be in, in the real performance where I have to play it inside the key a little bit. Okay, so... Not terribly happy, but it's okay. Getting there is definitely better than in, in the past. That's not so easy to articulate because these two notes, D and G, will also probably be need to be pressed inside the keys or kept inside the key when I restrike it, right? To get that ta -da. 
Otherwise the action doesn't have enough time to react. Yep. Anyway, it's, it's getting there. The, as I was saying before, with these sort of short bursts of concentrated practice, you're looking at an increase of skill over a course of, let's say, a week to where something that was basically impossible to play well at the beginning starts to get quite possible by the end of it and it's, it sounds just, just right. Alright, now finally we get to that fourth note before the goal or one, two, three, four, third note before the goal or the fourth note if you take the whole snippet um, so I'm keeping it down with finger two no, I'm actually just going to hold it with finger one and getting ready to go into the rest of it that's it. It's almost there. Pa -pa -pa. I know I did not strike those notes. The important part about this practice is that before you try it, you really focus on what you're about to do. So then after you do it, you stop and think, did it match with what I was intending or was something off? Nope. I was expecting these two chords to be perfect. There it is. All right, well, as you can see, I'm definitely going beyond my previous practice snippet uh, length. So let's see what happens. At some point I should get into this mode where I start screwing up and I cannot do it at the same level as I can do for a shorter segment, but let's see. I'll get rid of that penciled in four, which I used to use, now I'm using three. All right, so here we go. Hold, I'm trying to do here. I'm holding this chord and I'm getting ready. Get in there. It's difficult. Much easier to play on a strong beat of the measure than to do this pa pam off beat. It's sort of there, but I find that I'm now losing that precision in the red highlighted accent. And so what I'll do now is go to my front covers like this and actually not play that accent. So I'll be stopping right here and just making that leap. So one more time. So doing that position adjustment, but just stopping without playing the accent. Not quite together. So this has to be always in the forefront of my mind. Am I doing anything that's below the quality I'm going after? There it is. So then I, I'm not moving my covers here, but I guess I could. It's just all of this obviously takes some time away from practice, but that makes it easier to follow. So holding this chord, and now holding this, getting ready. Nope. One more time. That's okay. Now actually playing it. Nope, and immediately the problem. Something happens. Maybe, maybe I need to slightly press down. No, I cannot because these I'm starting from with the key all the way up at the resting level, so no pressing it down. Maybe I could still do it. 
that, that's too complicated. So I know I can do it. It's just I have to focus. There it is. I think that's okay. Ah, too loud. Those chords are just hard. And it's okay, but... Hmm, I have a beautiful bird singing outside. Yeah, but this is my nemesis. If I can figure it out, I think I'll be fine. How to exactly repeat this right hand. Maybe I should just focus on the right hand. But when I do it, I can do it. It's the left hand together that I cannot do. There it is. It's a very specific kind of push. It's okay, it's okay. But anyway, get him better, get him there. So this was the fourth attempt in a kind of every day practice uh, series. I'm actually going to be replacing carpets here and my pianos will be out of the room for a while. So I'm not sure I can continue recording these segments for the next couple of days, but um, we'll see what happens when I do come back. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>